Television Network. Versus Iran for the championship of eFootball PES 2020, IESF Seoul 2019. Knowing that electronic sports, also known as eSports, is a form of competition using video games. In the late 2000s, eSports saw a rise in popularity, drawing in large viewership in gaming events. Today, eSports has made a transition from just an activity of leisure to being a billion dollar industry. eSport is now recognized as a sport in Asia and will be part of the 2022 Asia Games. The United States of America has also recognized eSports as a sport classifying eSport players as professional athletes. Many other countries are beginning to tap into this billion dollar industry. And the question is, how can Nigeria capitalize on the global emergence of eSports? Ogedengbe Oladimeji, owner of an e-gaming platform speaking on potential of eSports in Nigeria says, Nigeria can take advantage of its population and huge interest in gaming to build esports in the country. We are the biggest in population in the whole Africa, in fact, in the whole world. When it comes to black people together, we are the biggest, we are the largest. So there is a lot of opportunities in Nigeria in all industries. Now, lo looking at the industry that is not more popular, it's not the most popular industry in, in the. In everything like and we can get the balance we can be able to cope each other Oladiron Tubi, co-founder of an e-gaming platform highlights poor internet speed and power as major challenges facing esports in Nigeria esports basically being electronic gaming yeah. it's, it's kind of come in form of land that is physical tournaments and in the form of online tournament. So thus far, because of the COVID restrictions, we've not been able to do a LAN tournament. So it's mostly online. So now our major, our major, major challenge, the major, major challenges we face right now are poor internet speed and bad power. Because sometimes we have like major tournaments and 
let's say some of our players here are playing with some of the players in the road, then their power gets cut off, something like that. So those are those are two of the major um, problems we are facing right now. Peham Mahon, one of the foreign participants of a Nigerian organized esports events, speaks on the importance of participating in such events. Hello guys, I'm Pia from Yom. I play FIFA competitively and play multiple tournaments. Then I come across with the Buzz Cup among the tournaments I participate in. I spend my time playing this tournament competitively with players from all over the globe and I finish in this tournament with a second position but surely gonna try to win it next time. Well, what I want to say is that this bus tournament is really special as FIFA players from all over the world are able to participate competitively. So if you participate, it will either take you Firstly, if you'll take your FIFA skill to the next level. Secondly, you will be able to get a good prize if you manage to win the entire tournament. Lastly, you'll be able to part of a really fun, passionate FIFA community. With a better understanding through awareness, the future of eSports in Nigeria is poised to be bright. This is DG Vision Network.